It's a little chihuahua, like no harm to anybody, no harm to anybody, a little chihuahua. I don't understand. Outrage growing in an east side neighborhood after residents say a San Antonio police officer shot and killed a chihuahua in someone's yard. The owner says the animal was shot yesterday and today there's still no explanation from police. Devin Clark has their story, but we do want to warn you first. Some of you may find the images you're about to see disturbing. I was laying on the couch and I hear this pop, this gunshot. Pastor Richard Duke says around 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon, he found himself ducking for cover inside of his own house on Poinsettia and Walters. Certainly I'm concerned. My daughter's on the porch. I hollered at her to get inside because I'm thinking that it's something big going on. But the concern turned to confusion when Duke's daughter, Mary Ann, ran inside and told him what she says happened. The police officer was like right here. I kept on seeing him stay over here and then the little dog is right here where the blood stain is. And then, out of nowhere, I hear a pop. The chihuahua named Trixie had been shot. And that little dog couldn't have done anything. It didn't bark, it didn't do anything. It, was, it wasn't a threat, it was a tiny chihuahua. Yay hot. Trixie's owners tell us that the pooch got out yesterday and went into the neighbor's yard across the street to play with their dog. They later received the horrifying news about their beloved pet, but it wasn't from SAPD. They had no reason. They didn't come and notify us. They didn't come and say nothing. Oh, your, your pet's on the, you know what I mean, come and get your dog or anything. The cops just literally came and shot him, and that's because my neighbor told us. Otherwise, we would have never even known. Sabrina Lopez says animal care services was also never called. The response, or lack thereof, still troubling. If an officer shoot, pull his pistol and shoot his pistol in front of my house, I, somebody should explain to me why this is taking place. And the dog was behind the fence. We reached out to SAPD several times for an explanation, but they have not confirmed or denied the shooting, but do say that they were at that house for a public assistance call. Animal Care Services says that SAPD never called them about a dog being shot, which should have happened if an officer did in fact shoot a dog for any reason. Reporting live outside of Public Safety Headquarters, Devin Clark, KSAT 12 News.